Hello! Uh, very quick video about diagnosing problems with PC starting up. Uh, if when you press the power button the fans start whizzing but nothing else happens, the screen is blank, there's no beeps, not that many have got beeps these days, but nothing else happens apart from the fans going round, then um, this is the cheapest and first stage of um, problem solving that. First thing to think about is that it can't be the mains lead because obviously there's power going to the power supply because it's starting up, so don't bother testing that. So the next thing obviously is to test the power supply. Now ideally you'll have a tester uh, which you plug in and then it will um, obviously see what the power supply is up to. So let's start this one up and see what it does. Um, power supply test is obviously a bit unhappy. Um, it's not flashing up any of the voltages. I don't know if you can quite see that. What it is flashing up is the PG value as 990 milliseconds. Now I'll just turn that off and explain what the PG value is. Um, the PG value is uh, the power good signal. When you power up the machine, when you press the power button, the power supply takes a bit of time. I mean, it's very quick, but it still takes time for it to get the voltages stable, which are then supplied to the motherboard. So there is a reaction time for the power supply. Um, that is normally between 0.1 and 500 milliseconds, sometimes slightly higher, but that's the unacceptable range. Um, the power good signal is actually a rather clever part of the ATX standard in that if it doesn't send the power good signal to the processor in the correct time, or it doesn't send it at all, then the PC doesn't boot. So if the power supply is faulty, that fault doesn't then cause damage somewhere else along the line, i.e. blow at the motherboard or the um, processor or the RAM. Because obviously they're a lot harder to diagnose faults with those components and that involves RMAing things and dismantling and it's a bit of a hassle. So in this case, because the tester is saying that the power good signal is taking too long, the processor um, doesn't boot. So it halts the boot process. So the fault is the power supply. Now you don't need to have a tester to do that, although it would be better because it would confirm it. But if all you get is the fans going and nothing else, sort the power supply over straight away and see what happens. And if the power supply then, um, obviously if the PC then boots, then it's the power supply that's at fault. So rather than faffing around testing individual components or um, dismantling things and putting them in and taking RAM chips out, rather than do any of that, just go straight to the power supply. Um, here's the, the bit of the thing I should, would have been a bit of a, a giveaway if I'd mentioned it first, especially if you just had a thunderstorm or you're, you're subject to brownouts or power surges um, like the people who own this uh, particular one are. Uh, now this is actually quite an old um, power supply. Um, so what I think has happened is that when it had um, the brownout and the power surge and the lightning and that sort of stuff, I think that um, broke or damaged or there already was a faulty capacitor um, because a delay in the power good signal suggests that a capacitor is struggling. Um, so, um, so yeah, so you can't replace um, parts inside power supplies, I would not recommend doing that. Um, they can um, be quite dangerous. They're sealed units and obviously if you're doing work for other people you absolutely should not mess around with internals of power supply in case you burn their house down. So um, straight swap of the power supply for this one and it'll be up and running again. Uh, any questions stick them in the comments. Um, like and subscribe will be helpful especially if you found this useful and um, thanks for watching.